Welcome back to my channel, guys. Uh, uh, Imperial Galactic Survival just got another experimental update. It's it's phase three, and they say it'll be the last update in experimental, and then it will be going live, hopefully within a week or so. Look at my options again. Okay. Resume game. Okay, we're back where we last last left off. That's better. Spoiled food you can use for farming too, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Yeah, we need to make a much, much more candy bars. Fifty copper. Need more copper. Okay. Almost level five. Let's look at our map. Still ninety percent copper left. Grab some copper nodes on the way. Okay. Level five, nice. Tactors. Oh, sniper rifle. They're one of my favorite weapons in the game. A small three point five and tools. Two more levels and I can get that drill. That'll be nice. Wireless connection's nice where you can, uh, kind of like the internet, you can like put stuff right in your storage on your ship from when you're inside the base, looting the base and POI, you can, if you're within the wireless connection, you can just put the stuff from your inventory right into the ship's inventory. Ventilators for oxygen. On oxygen list planets are in space. Your ships. Cover vessel, small vessel, capital vessel. That small constructor will be nice. I'll get the large one too as soon as possible. Food processor. Solar panels. It's another way of getting energy, but when you put them on your base, you want to be on like the equator. You get the most sun from that. And then you want to point them in the direction of either east or west. And that's when they'll get the most 
most energy for your base. Some sentry guns. Three points left. So that's probably about it. Just grab something, I guess. Some coppers right there. Let's go in there. Okay. So I just push F5. And can't wait till I get that drill. <laughs> It'd be so much nicer. Mine so much faster. You can also build like hover vessels to mine and uh, other uh, small vessel. Small vessel. I don't think they can mine on planets. Small vessels and capital vessels only can mine on outer space. I think hover vessels can mine on planets. Maybe small vessels can now too. It's kind of gone back and forth. They they changed it back and forth over updates and stuff. So it's kind of hard to remember what's what sometimes. It's gone through lots of updates. I've been probably playing this game for, I don't know, five, six years or what, I just lost track. Let's get some resources here, copper. Use copper for a lot of things. You you go through it really fast for bullets. Okay, F5, tab, shift to run. Right over here. Try this shotgun this time. That's a lot better. Look out our neighbor there. Some more copper. Do one of these missions too. Hmm. Need to get a small vessel going. There's quite a few to choose from. I built some over the years. I don't have them loaded up on my laptop right now, but I got some pretty cool ones. But I guess we'll just use one of these stock versions for now. I can show you some of the ships that I built in future videos. 
हंसते हैं I guess you just use this for exploring. So then you just click on factory and then you put the resources right in here. Iron, carbon, silicon, copper. Did it need carbon? Copper. And then just right click and on your mouse will split the stack. And you don't have to worry about using more than it calls for. It'll always stay in your factory. So the, I guess it, you know, kind of magical, I guess. 39. Yeah, so I need carbon substrate. So iron. And get that from crushed stone. So right here. Get that going in the coal. Like vegetable juice, that's good. Like on hot planets, you can drink that and it will reduce your body temperature. And in the early games, uh, berry juice is pretty good for incre uh, healing yourself. Gives you 25 health. How much did I need for carbon substrate? 22, so not much more. You got it right here. Um, I'll have to get some more rocks real quick. Let's see, here's rock. Let's grab some rain. Resource. Those couple of pieces of copper I had in the edge must have already despawned, but that's okay. It wasn't much. Wow. Oh, it's weird. No, oh, didn't have the right gun. Okay. He's good for experience, 550 just for doing that. It's pretty nice. That thing's new. Those things kind of heal you. Hmm. 
Need three more. <laughs> oh, it's kind of a cool graphics. Blueprint. And see, it'll start counting down right here. You can, in options, you can have it be instant, but I like to have at least a little bit of a countdown. Seems to make it a little more realistic. I need to eat some candy bars. At 13 of them now. And they don't, they got an 89 for perish time, so they're pretty good. They last, they last quite a while. And eventually I'll have like a fridge on my small vessel or something, so I don't have to worry about the food uh, going bad anymore. Six. Let's grab some extra fuel for my ship. I mean, I want to not have to worry about too much fuel. It's a little bit loud, ain't it? It's options. Audio. Start making that in this. So I get a whole bunch of fuel going. You always need fuel in this game. Let's get a bunch of that going. And the nice thing about these portable constructors here is you can put as much in it as you want. When you start building a base, uh, the capacity will, will be so much dependent on how big you build them. But you can always have portable constructors and you can always put as much in there as you want. Okay, I'll throw this in the portable constructor and then we can uh, spawn in our ship. Okay, so your completed ships are will always be right up here. I can just spawn it right in the game, pull it out of my pocket and put it wherever. Um, in the options, I usually like putting in the options. I usually like having to have to have a base or something to spawn it on. This seems a little more realistic. But since this is just a let's play, just do it like that. See this? This is really exposed. 
but shouldn't have to worry about that on the core. I got the core right there. Yeah, one ding and we're dead. But we'll just use it to kind of fly around, look at POIs. And uh, I can kind of show you a little bit more of that part of the game. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll continue this series. And then uh, when the the 1.9 goes live for Imperium, we'll, we'll start another series and and we'll go from there. So I have to put, I can put this biofuel in it. You don't have to have Promethean to put in it. So you can just pick it up like this and then just drop it right in. You can always uh, withdraw field too if you need it for something else. Like there's 90 in here. So I can just type in like 40 and then click that and I got it right over here. And then you can just put it back in and it's back up to 90. So, and right away I'll hit tab and I'll turn the power off so I'm not wasting any fuel. Okay, that 10 codes. Sleep again. Okay, nice. And, um, yeah, that's about all this ship has. It doesn't have any storage or anything, but it's easy. It's an easy spawn, and you can find a, maybe, well, let's just, I'll show you a little bit. Oh, there must be that octopus already. Yeah. That's fine. I just... Okay, power. Thrusters. And you can hit V to zoom out or V to go back in the cockpit. I usually like being out. So we're off the planet now, so that's nice. And O on your keyboard is the level with the ground. So if you start getting all awk, you can always do O and then it'll level with the ground. See what we can discover. See if there's any good POIs. This is actually just a flat map, but uh, they kind of made it like a planet. But like if you fly up to the North Pole, your ship will just spin around. And uh, I guess I can kind of, it's kind of hard, confusing. But back when Imperion first came out, uh, they just had like this big invisible wall that went around this flat map. Well, yeah. And now they kind of made it into like, uh, it, it looks better. It's not too bad. See, it just spins around. And I'll be going this way, but it just kind of has to do that because it's a flat, it's a flat map actually. But it's okay. It's still a really cool game. Yeah. Just keep hitting M on your keyboard when you want to go to the map and then kind of adjust your ship. And then hit Alt if you want to go around it. See, I don't think I got any down thrusters, so whenever I do that, my ship's going to start going down after I lose some of the thrust. Um, see, so yeah, how did you, there was another, okay, well, let's just see, map. it's a small planet, not really anything on it, small wreckage, I guess we could, yeah, 
Let's kind of see what else is over there. So let's go west. How's my field doing? I don't get any lights on this ship either. <laughs> So just click on this right here, and that'll be like your ship's control panel or your base's control panel. So 11%. <laughs> but it don't, this little, little, little vessel don't need much fuel, so not too worried about it. I don't really look like there's much POIs here. There's lots of different factions in the game, too. And in this latest update, they want to make it so the factions will start attacking each other. So that'll be cool. There's sure not much on Chapua. I don't really want to go into space, though, with this guy because, and at least in some of the more updates a while back, even leaving Akua. There are some pretty tough ships like in space that will take you out pretty quick. So I want to have at least some kind of defense before I leave this planet. Well, we can go grab this wreckage. So just right click and then click on waypoint and then accept. Small wreckage, 1.2 meters, kilometers. See, I can't even uh, push down because I don't have any thrust going down on my ship. So I'll just turn the, so if, if it's like that, just uh, turn your engine off, power, and it will just go down. And then F to get out, it's F to get in, F to get out, just like that. Salvage. Oh, and like, uh, if there's like a really huge thing, you can just like hit the supports like on the bottom. And then it'll fall down. And then it's just shift left click to pick it all up. Guess it's so close, it's not gonna fall. Yeah, just shift and then left, shift, left click, I'm pretty sure. Pick up all of it. But you want to be uh, in in your ship's uh, internet or whatever you call that thing. So it goes into your ship's inventory. But I don't have anything on this one, like if I had a real big ship. But 19 steel. Is there a, there, yeah, they usually got cargo boxes by this thing. So I got antibiotics, water, ointment. And then you can just push this button right here just to move everything over. And if for some reason I want to move all this inventory back over there, I can just click that. Okay. Tab. And then this, and then power. And then V to, to get this other view here. And then uh, O on your keyboard to 
the level the the ship out to the, you know to the ground you can you can change the buttons on the, your mouse or something if that'd be easier uh yeah my ship's flying a little wonky because of my weight i well geez i barely have any weight but this thing doesn't have much for an engine <laughs> but it works thought i seen oh okay there's a ruin over there some ruins here too. We can check it out. Shouldn't be anything too tough on Akua, I wouldn't think. I don't really have any armor or anything yet. What is that? Yeah, this ship's kind of tough to fly because it's only got a couple of thrusters. See, when you build a ship, you want to have thrusters on, on all sides. Up, down, left, right, back, and forward. I have to be careful. I don't have any armor or anything, but... I was kind of looking around. It's always nice when they add uh, more POIs to the game, give you more things to find and explore. Just shift left click and it'll go right over to your inventory. Let's see what's this? <laughs> Spoiled food. Yeah, they're not going to have much on the beginning planets, but it's fun to look around. And it's hard to get up because I don't have my jetpack. See, you would push J on the keyboard if you did have your suit, and that would turn your jetpack on, but I don't have it, so it's a little tough getting around on POIs right now. I have to get my uh, my armor here going. Huh. And then if you get stuck like this, just uh, go to salvage mode, and it will break it down, and you can get out if you're stuck in something like this. You can see the hit points on the concrete block going down. Huh. That was about all. There's something there. See, I just shift and W, and then I ran, and then I was able to jump a little higher. Alien has... Oh. I don't remember seeing so it looks like they got some new things uh new uh textures in the game it's kind of cool not sure if i want to go over there or not maybe i'll just kind of take a peek but i don't know if i want to Sounds like a raptor. That shouldn't be too hard. Give me some nice experience. That's cool. Hmm, something else over there you can look at too. Hmm. 
another raptor. Where's he at? Have to get pretty close with this shotgun. I just have to be quick. <laughs> A little buggy, but it's all right. Where you at? Heard ya. Over here. If you shoot for the head too, I think they take extra damage. Who's that? Oh wow, there's two of them. Okay. Oh wow, now they're really coming out of the woodwork. Some nice experience. Hmm. It's all right. I think they're just giving me. Kind of wanted to see if there's any anything in in this place. Any items or anything. Sometimes, uh, if you like dig under these things, like mine under them, like I do to get my resources, sometimes uh, the devs and stuff hide things in there. Oh, wow, another raptor? He makes a lot of noise, but then I don't see him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's stuck. That's all right. Not dinosaurs are dumb anyway, so I guess it doesn't take the immersion out too bad if it's a dinosaur. So, yeah. That was a Triceratops. It gives some pretty good, a lot of meat. The way these textures look, it kind of reminds me of like Bethesda's Morrowind game. That's kind of what it looked like in that game. If I remember right, it's a long time since I played Morrowind. What do we have? Keeps going up. Let's see what else there is.
Looks like it goes up somewhere over here. Go check it out. There might be some at the top or something. And if there's ever not a stairwell up something, uh, and if you have a, a spaceship, you can uh, set it to just like uh, hover, and then you can like get out and just kind of walk across the top of your spaceship to get off to like a, a high place. Well, that's kind of, oh, I'm getting some radiation here. I wonder if there's something hidden, but I don't really want to try it because I don't really have any armor, so. Like if I fell with armor, I can just hit my jetpack and as I fall, I can slow my fall before I hit the ground. But I don't have anything like that, so if I fell, I would just die. Just up in there. It's like alien blood or something. Huh. Or maybe that's supposed to look like mold. It's kind of cool. Or maybe like some kind of radiation. I'm not taking any radiation though, so I guess it's just supposed to be mold. The red cage. That shit's right over here. Some berries. Make a berry drink. Oh, there's a question mark over there we can look at. Might as well. It's kind of fun just to look at things. Power. See what POIs and their devs are making and stuff. Or sometimes the devs will bring in other people's creations that they make on the workshop and add it to the game. Some more raptors. Got stuck there a little bit. I wanted to. Okay, so I have to turn my engine off because I don't have down thrust. F to get out. Get my shotgun ready. These angry raptors. Don't like us in their territory. And if you kill like hostiles like this in uh, in a uh, faction's territory, it'll improve your relations with that faction. So that's kind of cool. There's other things you can do. You can do missions and stuff for them to improve your relations. Alien tooth. Nutrient solution. That's stuff to make uh, farming plots. Farming is kind of a fast way to get your experience up too. It's kind of fun to get a whole bunch of food going. You can make more complex food items and stuff. Which helps with stamina and health and stuff. Is that it? Hmm. In dark. Oh, wow. Oh, they gave the raptors red eyes. Well, that's kind of cool. 
Kind of, <laughs> it's almost a little scary looking. I need a suit so I can just push L and turn my light on, but you gotta get that suit going. Sometimes when you run too far, you you get other guys after you too. Oh, they're hard to hit. Sad. Should have these band-aids on my vest, or okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like their glowing eyes. That's a cool change. I like that that the devs added that. It's nice too in the beginning of the game before you get a suit and uh, you know that flashlight on your suit because. I can't hold this light up and shoot my shotgun at the same time. I need a, a light for my suit. Cool. Oh, I don't got a light on my ship either. <laughs> I just have to fly in the dark, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll just leave uh, I'll leave it here guys I'll have this episode a little bit shorter so I can get this episode out I don't have to wait like 8 hours for it to upload onto the internet and stuff and I'll, I'll, I'll be bringing out more content soon I'll be working on some more episodes and stuff so Please uh, give my episode a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right.